So, in the past on my channel, I have done series with clubs where we play through one season and see how much silverware we can win. These are known as One Season for Glory series. Well, I thought that it would be a pretty cool idea to see if we could do an entire One Season for Glory season in one video. The concept is super simple, but could be super interesting. We will be simulating every regular game and then playing the major games, for example, Cup Finals, last day of the Premier League season, etc. All that good stuff. And we will see how many titles we can win in one season, along with splashing the cash on signings. The opening participant, Arsenal. If you're keen to see more of this in the future, on both FIFA 17 and FIFA 18, make sure you support the video big time. But g'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Super keen to see what we can do in this one season for glory video. Hopefully we can be very successful, more successful than Arsenal were last night against Liverpool. But fellas, as I said, if you do go on to enjoy this idea, make sure you leave a like on the video. If we smash the likes, I'll consider bringing it back for the remainder of FIFA 17. And also, make sure you scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. So here is our starting 11 for the start of this one season for glory. One thing that I dislike about FIFA at this time of the year is the new signings don't get put onto career mode. And of course, we still have the old kits and all that stuff, but I'm pretty damn excited for FIFA 18, but I'm gonna go ahead and make, obviously, Lacazette my first main signing. At least I'm going to attempt. But it's a decent side here we have with Arsenal. Hopefully we can upgrade it and get ourselves a lot of success. There it is, we've got our man. We face stiff competition from Wolfsburg and many other clubs, but we have finally got Lacazette from Leon for 51 million, just like in real life. Although that's not the in real life transfer sum, we just got him like we did in real life. I mean, I know I said I'd play all the big finals, but it's pre-season tournament. We'll just simulate it, not that it really matters. Are we going to get our first piece of silverware? No way in the world I'm going to play it. We know we lose on pens. Ah, oh, well. In real life, he looks like he is off to Barcelona. But in this one season for glory, Felipe Coutinho is coming to the Emirates. He is signing for Arsenal for £60 million, a move I don't think I'll ever see, but welcome, Coutinho. And our first player departure for this season is going to be Mohamed El Nani. Now, if this was a normal career mode, there's not a chance in the world I would be selling the Egyptian, but we need the cash, so El Nani is off to Borussia Mönchengladbach. So my thought process for this video and for future videos in this series, if we continue to do it, is to watch every single game we play, but not the whole way through, just watch it, simulate it, get through it, so you guys can see the progress, but so that it doesn't take up too much time. Because in a normal one season for Glory series, we would obviously play every game. So I think if it's in one episode, if we simulate it, it still has that feeling of progress, but it won't take as long. Let me know your opinion as always down below though, but the opening game of our Premier League campaign is against Liverpool, the game that was on last night when I'm recording this. Not sure when I'm gonna upload it, but can we get a win on the opening day or is it gonna be another 4-0 loss? It's a one-all draw. I thought we needed to improve our left-back position, and it's a bit of a unique signing. I can't see it happening in real life, but this isn't meant to be realistic. Marcelo is going to become our new left-back. 86 rated, that is a huge improvement, 38 million pounds. So I'm not sure how many more signings we're going to be making, but at the moment, this is our strongest possible starting 11, and the starting 11 that I plan on rocking with for this season. Match day two, away at the King Power against Leicester City. It's Marcelo's debut. Can we get a first win for the season? No, we don't. Another draw. Our first AFL Cup game for the season. Can we go somewhere in the AFL Cup? Away to Watford. Still rocking our strongest starting 11. Want to get as many wins as possible. We're eliminated. Are you kidding me? We lose 2-1 to Watford. 
we're out of the ca the Caribou Cup, I guess it is now, but the EFL Cup in this one. So that's one title we're not going to be winning. Far out. So it has not been a good start to the season. Can we get our revenge on Watford as we take them on now in the Premier League again away at Vicarage Road? We're going to simulate it. We get the 2-1 win this time, but Bellerin or Bayerin is injured. You are kidding me. Bayerin is out for five weeks. Come on, man. So on deadline day, another big transfer. Danny Welbeck off to Sunderland for 23 and a half million. See you, that guy, Welbs. So that's going to end the opening transfer window. Lacazette, Coutinho, and Marcelo in. El Nenny and Welbeck out. I'll probably use that Welbeck money once we know a bit more about our squad come January. At home to Southampton, can we continue our winning streak? Well, I mean, it's one win at the moment. To be fair, at the moment, we're on a track for an invincible season. It continues 2-1 there. Our opening Champions League group stage match away at Borussia Mönchengladbach. We've got a pretty difficult group with Monaco, Mönchengladbach and Juventus. Can we get off to a good start? No, we can't. Away at the KCOM Stadium against relegated Hull City in real life. Can we inflict more misery on them and get higher up the table? Yes, we can. 2-0. Bayerin returns at the perfect time as we have a top of the table clash against Chelsea. A win here would be absolutely huge. 2-1, we get the win. However, a loss here against Monaco would be pretty bad to start our Champions League campaign. Already lost to Mönchengladbach. Let's get back on track and qualify out. 3-0, that's the perfect response. Also, apologies if I'm going really fast. I don't want this video to be 40 hours long. Away at Turf Moor, taking on Burnley. I wonder if Visa is going to be vlogging this game. Let's put some misery on the Clarets. 2-1. That's a great game. At home against Swansea here. Can we defeat the Swans and continue our great white run? Cathola and Giroud coming into the starting 11. A 3-1 result. A massive game here. Away in Turin against Juventus. Lacazette and Ertzil back into the starting 11. Do we get the results? Yes, we do. We're on a great run of form. Coutinho banging them in. At home against Middlesbrough. Can we continue this great run of form and keep pace at the top of the Premier League table? Come on, lads. Odds on us losing this one. 4-1. Maybe I was wrong. Come on, Sanchez. Please don't do this to us. I swear, if we're going to lose Sanchez, I'm going to cry. Away at the Stadium of Light as we take on Sunderland. In my opinion, the Stadium of Light is one of my favorite stadiums in English football. A beautiful stadium. We simulate and it's a one-all draw. A massive Champions League game here. Our group is ridiculously close at the moment. This would be a big result if we get the win against Monaco. 1-0, Santi Cathola, 89th minute. Not only is it a North London derby, but it is also a top of the table clash. Arsenal versus Tottenham Hotspur. Can we get the result here? A one-all draw. We continue our difficult run of fixtures as we take on Manchester United away at Old Trafford. This will be a huge game here. We simulate it and we lose 3-0. Michael Carrick has just destroyed us. If we get a point here against Borussia Mönchengladbach, I'm pretty sure that will see us officially through to the group, or the knockout rounds, I should say, of the Champions League. We were poor against them last time. Can we get a result? No, we lose to them. Come on, man. At home against Bournemouth here. We need to get back on track. We're starting to play pretty damn average. Come on, a big win would be great. 2 0, I'll cop it. Away at the Olympic Stadium against Slaven Bilic's men. Can we get a result against West Ham United? Come on, fellas. 1 0, get in there. Good stuff, Bayer in. The same scenario stands here as we are at home against Juventus. A point will see us through to the knockout rounds. Come on, let's hope we get the points. And it's one all. Higuain rescues it for us in the 86th minute. Did I say Higuain? I think I meant Lacazette there. At home here against Mark Hughes and Stoke City. Can we defeat the Potters? Come on, lads. We need to keep pace at the top of the table. Two all. 
That's going to hurt us. Goodison Park is where we will be facing Everton. Ertzil back into the starting 11. Full strength lineup out on the field. Come on, fellas. Big result. 1-0. Coutinho injured, though. That could be interesting. Okay, only seven days. I can live with that. So no Coutinho here for this clash away at the Etihad against Man City. Walcott comes in, Sanchez moves over to the left wing spot. Can we get the result? 1-0, Olivier Giroud, the super sub. So Coutinho is back here for this Boxing Day clash against Tony Pulis' West Brom. We are at home. We're at the Emirates. Let's finish the year in style. 3-1. Coutinho scores as well. What a time to be alive. Thank God for that. I didn't want to have to go out and replace Sanchez. At home to Crystal Palace on the last day of 2016. Can we finish it in style and stay close to Tottenham in the title race? One all, that doesn't help. So at the halfway mark of the Premier League season, we are four points away from Spurs. Only one loss for both of us this season. It's been a solid start. Let's just hope we keep it up in the second half and Spurs drop a few games. In terms of the drop zone, it is looking pretty bleak for Burnley. Seven points for them. Southampton and Sunderland joining them. Can we begin 2017 in style as we travel down to Bournemouth here? We need to keep pace at the top of the table. Let's get the result, do we? 3-1, come on lads. We are having a ridiculously good season. In before, I just jinxed us with that statement. A real tough start to life in the FA Cup. At home against Chelsea, come on. So a big dog team is going to be eliminated in the third round of the FA Cup. Is it going to be us or Chelsea? Let's wait and see. Come on, lads. Big result. Big result. We're going to a replay and Mustafi gets injured. Hope it's not for long. That result was anticlimactic to say the least. And fortunately, Mustafi is only out for a week. So I was having a think about what type of areas in our first team are struggling for us. And honestly, none of them are. So then I thought to my bench and I thought, if someone gets injured, where are we weakest? And I thought, centre back. We've only got Murdersacker and Gabriel. Now, Gabriel looks like he's leaving. I've accepted a transfer offer for him. And Murdersacker is decreasing in overall. So, we're going to sign Mehdi Benassia, the Moroccan, I believe he's Moroccan, the Moroccan centre back, is going to be signing. He thinks he's first team, but told him a bit of a lie there. He's going to be a top quality bench player for us. So, welcome to the Arsenal bench. And Gabriel is off to Hull City for 16 million, just like I said earlier. Benassia is going to make his debut here as we travel to Wales to take on Swansea. Can we get three more points in the Premier League here? Come on, fellas. Please, one all. It is time for our FA Cup Round three, replay here. This time we're away at Stamford Bridge. So if I'm being honest, I'm not too confident. We've got a strong side out. Do we go through? Fuck sakes. 2 nil loss to Chelsea. We're eliminated in the first round of the EFL Cup. Well, our first match of the EFL Cup. And then our first match of the bloody FA Cup. This was a replay of the final. And we've lost 2 nil. So... That's another trophy. We're not going to win. What the hell? I mean, Ericsson joining Barcelona. I think that's going to help our title chances a little bit now. We're at home here against Burnley. One point off uh, Tottenham. I almost forgot their name there, but one point off Tottenham. They have a game in hand. We need to keep pace. We need all three points here. And we dominate Burnley. Not a chance in the world. Not a chance in hell. Tottenham, are you having a laugh? No way. Why is they offering? That is just insulting. Tottenham gets stuffed. So January wasn't as busy as the first window, but it's still been decent. I just noticed that Tottenham signed nine Golan, which is not good. But let's get into the business end. Let's get into the steak and mash of today's video and see how we go. Back at Stamford Bridge, the place where we had our heart broken in the FA Cup. Let's see if we can get somewhat revenge here against Chelsea. We do 2-1. I'll take it. 
I think that puts us top of the table if Man United drop points. Let's have a quick little look here. Are we top? Yes, we are. Hull City at home. We've taken care of them so far this season. Can we knock them off here? Full strength lineup once again. Mustafi back in from suspension. And that is a 3-1 result. Watford at the Emirates. Come on, fellas. The title is in our hands at the moment. We just need to keep on winning. Let's keep the streak. 3-0. That's exactly what we need. So it is now time for the Champions League round of 16. If you look to the top right hand corner, we have a ridiculously tough task here as we take on PSG. The first leg against PSG is at home. Now, of course, the latest squads aren't in, so no Neymar, fortunately for our sake, no Neymar. Can we get a result here? A one-all draw, they get an away goal, that is not good. Travelling to the St. Mary Stadium here as we take on Southampton. We are now six points clear, I think it was, at the Premier League top of the table. So, another win here would be great. It's a draw. It's a draw. The Emirates here taking on Leicester. We took care of them, did we? Did we? I think we might have drawn against them at the start of the season. I think we played them second week or something. Can we get the result? 2-1, but Benassia, our January signing, gets injured. That's not looking good. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We signed him as injury replacement, injury backup, and he's gotten injured himself for three months. Come on. 11 games to go in the Premier League season. We're traveling to Anfield. This is exactly what it was last night. Arsenal away at Anfield. Let's not lose 4-0. One all. I guess I'll cop that. Coutinho scoring against his former side as well. Traveling away here to the Parc de Prince. Taking on PSG, the second leg of our Champions League round of 16. One all, they have an away goal. Can we get through to the quarterfinals? No, we don't. Coutinho missed a penalty in the 19th minute. And now that means we can only win the Premier League title. God damn, this is not going as well as I expected. I mean, we're absolutely dominating the Premier League at the moment, but... Every other tournament, we have been below par. Let's hope our failures in the Champions League doesn't sabotage our Premier League title hopes. Manchester United are now equal with us on points. They had a lot of games in hand, so we're all even now. Can we defeat West Brom? Yes, we do. A huge game here on the 1st of April as we take on Manchester City at home. Come on, fellas. We win here and we take the lead in the title race. Manchester United, yes, 1-0, 3-1. That is a big-time result. Seven games to go in our Premier League campaign. Granite Xhaka out with suspension for this one. Coquelin comes in. We're at home again, taking on Billich's West Ham. We beat them first time up. Lacazette makes it 1-0, and that is another awesome result. I bet there's a lot of Arsenal fans out there saying, why can't we be this consistent in real life? Crystal Palace away at Selhurst Park. It's a dangerous place at times for away teams traveling, big teams as well. Can we get a win? 3-0 again, Mustafi injured. No, if Mustafi's injured and we still have Benassia out injured, that is gonna be bad. Three months as well. Oh no, this could be bad. Let's go across and have a look at the injury list. He's still out for two months. So Murder Saka looks like he's going to be our center back for the remainder of the season. Oh dear. Murder Saka's first game in our defensive line since the injury. I'm praying for your experience, Murder Saka. Step up for the boys, for the club you love. Can we defeat Middlesbrough? Yes, we do. Away to Sunderland here. We don't have... We don't have Marcelo, he's out through suspension. So we have a somewhat fragile back line. Let's hope it gets the job done. Coutinho in the second minute, 4-0. What problems do we have? Away at White Hart Lane here against Spurs. Only four games remaining in the Premier League season. We need to keep on winning. We can't afford, they would love to win here because that would put a big dent in our title chances. It's a one-all draw. Ramsey gets red carded. Oh dear. This game is genuinely beyond massive. Four points difference between us and Manchester United. They have a game in hand. They win this, they close the gap big time. We win this, 
we will virtually have the Premier League title in our hands with two games to go. No Aaron Ramsey, who is suspended for this one. Kafala jumping into that midfield spot. Come on, fellas. We need this one. Ebro in the third minute. They win 2-1. Coutinho missed a penalty. Why does he miss them on the big stage in this video? Oh dear, that is not good at all. They have a game in hand as well. Manchester United have capitalized on our failure. They have a two-point lead with two games to go. We need to pray to the football gods that they drop points here. We're away against Stoke City. That is dangerous. Can we do it on a Sunday afternoon in Stoke? I hope we do, otherwise we're in big trouble. 2-0, no! You're kidding me. We have gone so good all season, and now we are choking on the final parts of the season. And Manchester United won that game. So they have a five-point lead, and we're going to finish second. You are kidding me. We were so good all season. Honestly, I think we've lost three games all season in the Premier League. Two of them against Manchester United, which sucks. Yeah, three losses. If we turned, if we had one of those or two of those draws were wins, the title would have been ours. I mean, Manchester United have had a ridiculous season. 28 wins. That is absolutely devastating. I mean, I said I would play the final game of the Premier League season, but there's genuinely no stakes about it. We can't go anywhere. We are guaranteed second place, so I'm just going to simulate it here at home against Everton. We have genuinely choked. That is a massive choke, and I feel so shit about that now. We simulate it. We win 3-1. Where was that against Man United? Where was that against bloody Stoke? Oh, that's bloody disappointing. If Man United lost on the final day of the season as well, I'm going to be so damn salty. Did they? No, they didn't. 90 points. That is ridiculous. I mean, 85 points, realistically, should be enough in real life to win you the Premier League title. But when Manchester United are that dominant, it's so hard. So, overall... The first video for the one episode for Glory series has been a massive failure. Four chances to win trophies, zero trophies in the cabinet. I mean, you'd think being Arsenal we'd at least have a good run in the FA Cup, but obviously that didn't happen. But as a whole, I really enjoyed making this video, and I think this is a concept that we could really work on for the future. So if you guys enjoyed the opening video, for the one episode for Glory series, make sure you leave a like on the video. Scorpion, kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. And make sure you mention what club you would like us to do this with next. So fellas, most importantly, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace.